Hi guys, my name is Ivana. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Okay guys, let's unbox. Yeah, it's another one. I think I got this on Black Friday promotion from I Love Dooney, but I can't remember which code it was, but it's over now regardless. Um, it's a good deal. And I love this from Dooney and Burke. I forgot to mention that I will include a link in the description box for this bag. I am a Dooney and Burke partner, so if you use this link to shop, I may receive a small commission. Thanks in advance, guys. And there we go. This is how it was in the box. And here we go. This is the suede domed satchel in the color amber. I think this is the perfect suede color. I love all of the Dooney suede colors. But this one just looks like that natural suede, perfect bag. Oh, it's so luxurious looking. So this one is 60 of 150. I don't know if you can see that there. There it is, front, side, back, other side, feet on the bottom. Oh, this is gorgeous. This collection has the little charms, which I will loosen and offset so they don't jingle jangle because I think this would drive people crazy around me. So I'm just gonna fix that so it doesn't knock together. Front pocket, nice smooth zipper. Isn't that pretty? So this was on sale for $125 and total with tax it was like $132. One thirty-four, And I've always liked this dome satchel style because it's a nice smaller dome satchel. I just don't like a big, huge one. Um, kind of like this size is almost borderline too big. Oops. Is almost borderline too big. So when you see these two together, this is just a little bit smaller scale. Yeah, so... I really like this size. Ooh, actually, I could put this charm on there, couldn't I? <laughs> okay. Put her back. I am struggling with this little tape up at the top. Use your tools, Ivana, use your tools. love this color because I love natural and caramel or caramel and so this looks just like th that color in a suede and I think it's absolutely stunning the little Dooney and Burke duck there hopefully that's focusing because I can't see I don't know if I would even put a charm on here because this already has, I feel like it has enough with these little letters. Yeah, I think it's got enough with the letters. I'm going to put this beautiful heart back on her. Looks perfect on that bag. There is a strap. I believe it's crossbody. It's not unwrapped. Pretty sure it is the three-part crossbody strap. This is a keeper. 
Yes, it's a three part strap. So I'm going to guess that this as a crossbody is going to be really long on me because Dooney loves to do really long straps. And I think that's, that's great. But a lot of times it is just too long for me and hangs down by my knees because I'm not that tall. Um, you can adjust it on both. Why didn't I take this off? Guys, I don't know what it is, but I have not felt like filming very much. I think I go through these cycles throughout the month. Um, oh my goodness. Where I just get really introverted and I just don't even feel like getting in front of a camera. Where I mean, it's not like it's another person there, but you know, it's just like I kind of retreat and just want to do nothing. Yeah, so this is way down here. But maybe as a crossbody, yeah, it's still kind of long as a crossbody, but actually does feel comfortable because it tapers in, it's not too big and bulky, and I actually like it. But let's shorten it. Hello from way back here. I pushed my little stool back. I don't want to pull it forward because I'm going to have to stand up again. All right. It's Friday. I'm feeling happy that it's Friday. Made it through another week. I'm going to put it on the middle setting. That should give you a pretty good idea of what the drop should would be. Because these handles are in the way too, so that'll get in the way of the drop. Yeah, so here it is. It's kind of a long shoulder. Let's see on the shortest if it becomes kind of a shorter shoulder. And I could always punch another hole in here. I have a leather punch, but it's not going to match these kind of oblong holes. Um, but that's okay. Is anybody going to notice that? Yeah, I think this will be a really comfortable bag. So this is on the longest setting for the sh short shoulder strap. So it is it is quite the long shoulder. I kind of don't like when it's in that weird in-between stage, like the short shoulder is in between a short shoulder and a long shoulder, and then the crossbody is too long, or, you know, it's it's that weird in-between stage. I'm, I'm very picky about strap length. I just like it to fall on a certain part of me. Um, so that is probably one of my biggest gripes with bags is are the straps. And also the outer pocket. This has an outer pocket. I... Will my phone fit in there? I'm pretty sure my phone will fit in there. I'm pretty sure. If it doesn't, I will put it here and let you know. So I'm pretty sure that anything is going to fit in here because it's a good size bag. It's got a nice width to it at the bottom, but it does taper up. So here is a dust bag. Inside it has a zip and a slip pocket on the back wall with the Dooney logo patch. And on the front, it has just the one slip pocket, which I really prefer the two pockets, but I don't really use the pockets too much, actually. I just use pouches. But what I don't like about this one pocket is that sometimes it kind of gapes open and then it gets in the way of putting things in and out. That is really one of my pet peeves. I really prefer a tight pocket. I really do. All right, medium or small wristlet. I guess that's a small wristlet. Um, I just have a couple things here that I had in my other bag. This is a large wristlet from Dooney and Burke, or is this medium? What size is this? Well, it doesn't really say, so it's not gonna help me much. Um, I just got this one yesterday. This is also new. 
And so this is just, it's a wristlet or a little shoulder bag and you can attach the wristlet here or you can put it here. And I just put a little chain on there. I actually put the chain on here to extend this to make it a longer shoulder bag so that I can wear it here on my shoulder. I just tried it that way and then um, I decided not to leave that on there. So I just kind of put it here as a little embellishment. Isn't it cute? So this could go with this as a little uh, holiday inspiration here. And this jingle jangles driving me nuts already. <laughs> I have my eyeglasses and my sunglasses. And then I have my, also my matching coin case that goes with the large wristlet and my Bose earbuds. And everything fits in there nicely with spare room and I love this bag. It's so soft and smushy already, but it's going to get smushier. All right. I think it's one of my favorites already. Yeah, it is. Let's tear this, this stuff off. So I was just in the middle of changing bags and wasn't quite sure what to change into, but now I know. Boom, done. Oh gosh, it's gorgeous. So, so pretty. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to look it over. At first glance, I don't see anything wrong. Everything looks good. I think I saw this bag on Simply D's channel a while back. I'm pretty sure it was this color, but it could have been maybe the chamois color, but I fell in love with this bag then, and I always looked for it, and then when I saw it on sale, I had to jump on it, and I'm very happy I did, because I absolutely love this bag. Okay, so I will put the dimensions somewhere here on the screen. You can also probably still find it on I Love Dooney, and I will put the bag information also in the description box down below. And thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love it if you did. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.